Line L is graphed in the xy plane below. If line L is translated up 5 units and right 7 units, then what is the slope of the new line? Translating means moving. So we're going to move this line up 5 units. So for example, this point will go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And then to the right 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here would be 1 point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Here would be another point, and we can connect these, and we get a line that would look something like that. And we want to know what is the slope of the new line. Well, notice first, what's the slope of the old line? Let's calculate this either by doing the uh, formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 by finding two points, or what I think is easier, doing rise over run. Slope is rise over run. So if we go start with this point, we go down three units, that's negative three and then across over two units to the right. So that's negative three halves is the slope of our original line. Notice when I drew this line in, it's essentially, no, it's not essentially, it is parallel to our original line. Moving this line around, translating it does nothing to the slope. So the slope of our new line is just gonna be the same as the old. So it's going to be choice B, negative three halves. The first of our calculator not permitted questions, though truth be told, we didn't really use the calculator much on the calculator permitted questions. This one again has to do with lines and slopes, going to be an important uh, topic on the new SAT for sure. But we have some mixture here with translations, so transformations moving up 5 and uh, to the right 7. But as we saw in this particular problem, that was kind of a red herring. No change is going to happen to the slope of the line if you do that. The y-intercept will change, and of course the points on that line will change, but the slope won't. So not too bad of a question. Again, you need to know how slopes work and how they relate to the line's position and such on a coordinate graph.